Osmosis is all about the movement of water molecule. So osmosis is the net movement of water molecule from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential, randomly through a selectively permeable membrane. The water molecule actually can move. Yep. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Let's talk about water potential first. Like I explained just now, when we have a high solute concentration, it always on the opposite, we have a low water potential. When we have low solute concentration, always have a high water potential. All right, so this is a YouTube. Not the YouTube you watch every day at home during MCO. It's a U-shaped tube, right? The U-shaped tube has selectively permeable membrane. On the left side, we see this side has low sucrose molecule. Therefore, it has a higher water potential. And then on the right side, have more sucrose molecule, low water potential. So which part of the water, the left or the right, have higher potential to move across the membrane? Of course, it's the one with high water potential, having a very high potential to move across. Then it will be like this. On the left side will be less water. On the right side, we will have more water. Amazing, right? Because the water from the left side of the U-tube has just moved across selective permeable membrane to the right side. So it results in right side having more water. So this is a process called osmosis. A region of high water potential will cause the water move from a high water potential to a low water potential region through a selectively permeable membrane. And this process is called osmosis. After that, they will come to a dynamic equilibrium when left and right side having the equilibrium. Let's look at this one first. Just now we talked about the U-shaped tube, right? And now we are looking at a beaker. So here we have low, low water potential. This area has high water potential. So the, the water molecule of A will move into B and become like this. So some student will ask, oh sir, why the sucrose molecule can't the sucrose molecule can't move backward? Because this membrane, we see this membrane here, it prevents the sucrose molecule from moving here from here. Alright, so it only allows the movement of water. So it is explained here. The sucrose molecule are too large to move across the selectively permeable membrane. 